KO Leanne. Two of your former clubs meeting uh, this weekend in the Premier League. Chelsea against Arsenal. We're going to ask you guys this hour if we should be making Arsenal favourites for the Premier League title right now. Give a Manchester City start. Give an Arsenal start. Listen, I know there's only two points between them. Haaland doesn't really seem himself right now. Seem to be missing a few players at City. I'm just saying, is this the time that Arsenal could possibly take advantage? I do. I believe that. I think it seems like forever ago because we've had the international break. They beat Manchester City. But I don't think Arsenal get enough love and enough respect. I don't. I think a lot of people have said, oh, you know, when they beat Man City, Kevin De Bruyne wasn't playing, Rodri wasn't there. They still won for the first time under Mikel Arteta. For the first time in about five, was it eight years? Something like that since they beat City. So I think it's a great achievement, but not getting carried away eight games in. But yeah. Arsenal fans can enjoy that because look at last season when Arsenal... You know, capitulated at the end, the West Ham game, the Southampton game, those types of things happened. But I believe that Arsenal can win it. I do. I believed it last year. They were top of Christmas and I kept believing and believing it and then they just kind of fell apart when it really mattered. But I think fair play to Arsenal, fair play to Mikel Arteta. I'm going to give them some love because I think everyone always makes excuses when they win. They'll come from behind and win and people say last year, oh, that it was only playing against Southampton or Fulham. It's like, give them a break. Let them enjoy it. They went from not even making the Champions League to being in, you know, the second spot last year. And you can see City last year looked like they were not going to, you know, they won the treble. They were the best in the world. But this year, you can see some fragilities with Manchester City. I mean, let's be honest, Haaland has an off game every now and again. People then come after him and say, oh, last year I remember they were saying, is Haaland the problem? I love Erling Haaland. I think he's a top player. We know he doesn't touch the ball that much. He touched the ball 11 times in, in one game last year and scored a hat-trick. So a lot of emphasis is always on, oh, he's not touching the ball enough. Pep Guardiola doesn't care if he puts the ball in the back of the net. That's when people start to question it, when he doesn't put the ball in the back of the net. But I do think Arsenal, I think they can win the league. Favourites? Favourites? Maybe not. I still mm. think Manchester City will be the favourites. Here's the thing, and here's what I need to take you back to. You said, oh, well, apart from, you, know, you mentioned capitulation. Mm -hmm. You're asking here, you're begging us to give Arsenal more respect, and you mentioned capitulation. And not just last season, the season before that. In fact, every time it seems like they've got a major target, when we get to the last 10 games of the season, they miss out on that target. That's probably, and listen, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that I'm one of these people, but I can understand why some people aren't giving Arsenal their flowers over the last couple of years. I mean, there's there's pundits, big names coming out saying, well, they've won nothing. Why do you want me to talk up Arsenal? I, I should talk up winners, shouldn't I? And this, for me, is the year for them to to really do that. Because otherwise, I think that reputation will be consolidated. They People will see them as, as also rans. They, yeah, they did for... I mean, the, game, the season before last, when they had those two games in hand to make the Champions League and they didn't. I get that. It's happened two years in a row. But I do think we have to also take a look at the bigger picture here. Like, they went from not even being in the Champions League to challenging last year. No one thought Arsenal would challenge last year. And they did. So, they're in, I thought they were in even a better spot this year. Mm. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I do think, you know, you, you could, anyone could say, oh, you know, they, they, they're that nearly team that nearly does it. When Liverpool win games, everyone gives them props. If Liverpool beat Manchester City in that game and it was 1-0, everyone would be saying, oh, yeah. Liverpool are back. Yeah, they would be. They'd be saying, but oh, Jürgen Klopp. You know why, don't you? Uh, go on. They're winners. Yeah, but come <laughs> this on, is you. the difference. You got to, they yeah, are winners. They you got have to give them things. credit. They have been yeah, out but, there, Liverpool, okay, but our job and they is to have give... got the trophy. Right, I'm not disputing that, but our job is to give credit where it's due. And I think we, we have to give Arsenal credit at some point. No one does. We do. How many there's, people but, do? But there's levels to it. Right, but how many... Right, so Arsenal beat Manchester City mm. in that game 1-0. All I've heard from various people, oh, it's because Rodri wasn't playing. Oh, it's because De Bruyne wasn't playing. What Maybe, are they supposed to do? Go out there and not win the game? I, Who I thought it. they were going to beat Man City that day? I, I thought Man City would still win that game. I'm sure every Arsenal fan thought, felt that way. Everyone said they was at the stadium, they could feel the energy. It was intense. But we have to also give them credit when they beat mm. Manchester City because I've not heard many people, I know it's two weeks ago now, I didn't hear many people on that Monday giving them any credit at all. And that's my problem. Even though I'm not an Arsenal fan, I spent 12 years at the club and they're good to me. So I'll be good to them. I think they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they are an exceptional football team right now. And I think that... There's, I know it sounds a crazy thing to say, but there might be a better chance of them winning the Champions League than the Premier League. And that is just because I think City will, once people return, over 38 games, probably edge it. But in a cup competition, where, by the way, Arsenal don't have to knock Manchester City out, someone else needs to. You know, they don't have to go head-to-head -head in this competition. Arsenal just may, need to make sure they stay in as long as they can. And if you look around the quality of 
the teams in Europe right now, yes, there are some very good sides, but for me, Arsenal are just about as good as anyone. And as they showed us last time out against Manchester City, they can beat the treble winners, they can beat anyone. So... For me, there is... Uh, what? That's hard for me to see, you know, visually, Arsenal winning the Champions League this year. I can visibly see him winning the, the league, but you've thrown that out there about the Champions League. I can't see that. Everyone thought they were going to win the Europa League last year and they didn't. I know, but it's different now. Mm, are, I don't know, it, Hugh. I'm not saying now. you're wrong, but I'm saying I don't know. I don't know if I visibly see Arsenal winning the Champions League. But they've got a chance. Year. They have. Inter they've Milan, also got a chance of winning the Premier League. Inter Milan were in the final last year. Yeah, but true, I, I, they, true, I'm not true. saying... Listen, I'm not saying they don't have a chance of winning the Premier League. You're saying if the draw goes uh, their way, they've got it. good enough players. This is yeah. my point. In the cup competition, if the draw goes your way, it actually might take you further than, say, the Premier League, yeah. where, look, you, everyone's got to do the same thing, play the same teams twice, over 38 games. You know, it's going to be difficult to finish ahead of Manchester City. But if you have a double leg, you know, two legs against them, why not? No, I hear you on that. I hear you on that. I think I agree with you on that. I just It's hard for me to visibly see that. But I agree with you with the Italian teams, you know, making the semi-final. Arsenal are better than AC Milan and, and Inter Milan. They are. Uh, we've had a message in from Ryan. He's calling uh, He's calling me out. He says, Arsenal won't get their flowers until they win something. Well, then explain why the media have been in love with Spurs for so long. What have they won? <laughs> well, I'm not in love with Spurs. I think they're playing well at the moment. I'm more in love with Arsenal, I've got to say. I've just said you could probably win the Champions League. I'm not going to say Tottenham are winning anything this season. They've made a good start. But I, listen, maybe people are just shocked. Maybe Tottenham have provided us with the best headlines so far in the Premier League, which is we thought Ange Postacoglu losing Harry Kane, you know, could it be the demise of Tottenham, their top of the league after eight games? So maybe that's why they're getting, you know, more of the headlines. But also, you know, you've let you've you've raised the level at Arsenal. You've given a high bar out there, so now people are almost expecting you to hit it. And, and that's maybe why... No, that's not, hard, though. I but, do but, agree. Do you know what I mean? Why people aren't reacting in that way to Arsenal? Because we've almost now, but, over the last 12 months, come to expect them to be a very good side. Yeah, and I agree with that. But I do agree with the Arsenal fan, because I just don't think they get any... It's like damned if they do, damned if they don't. If they lost that game, everyone will be coming after them. They win the game, and no one really says, well done. It's very strange to me. Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate, Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.